Albert Einstein most famously said, God does not play dice with the universe. Well, maybe he was right in physics, but in evolution, there's a whole lot of dice playing. Here's my evolutionary dice die. This is A, T, G, and C, the genetic code. When they combine together, they tell an organism what traits it's going to have, and much of that combination comes together in random fashion. So if I throw this evolutionary die, I'm going to be stuck with this particular gene, and that gene might take me up any one of these four roads. Three of those roads might kill you almost instantly. One of them might be towards a really superior organism. If Peter wants to make his way across town to a high-end restaurant using the rules of DNA navigation, he will have to rely on the random roll of a die. One turn could get him closer, the next could turn him back toward where he started. There's no telling when or if he will ever make it. Evolution is a random process that usually leads to genetic dead ends. But what if Peter could escape the randomness of natural selection? Up until we became a technical species, we were like every other species at mercy to the randomness and to really the, the nastiness of evolution. The next stage of human evolution is going to be we humans tinkering right into the genome itself. Not only can we change people in their lifetime, but we'll be able to change their very DNA so that they and their changes get passed on to the next generation. With this type of directed evolution, Peter does not have to blindly depend on chance to get him where he wants to go. Waterfront seafood grill. Genetic technology could take you on a direct route from A to B as long as you can pay for the ride. Peter believes that once humans start pursuing unnatural selection, we will diverge into two separate races, those who are left rolling the evolutionary dice and those who can afford to design their own genome. All right, thank you so much. Halibut.